If you want to learn more about Planned Parenthood, you can get a copy of my book, Accessory to Murder. Just call the number you see on your screen or contact us through our website and you can have it. Pay for the shipping, we'll send it to you for a gift of any size. If you can't afford that, we'll send it to you for free. And I'll even autograph it for you. Um, what'd you say? Oh yeah, you can, thank you. This is Billy Bob talking in my ear. Um, you can get it for free online. If you wanna just download it, go ahead and do that. Um, she, when she was in Europe, Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, started to hang out with people, like I said before, H.G. Wells, Julian Huxley, but also Havelock Ellis, who was very influential in, in trying to destroy Christian morality regarding sexuality. And she started to hang out with um, eugenicists, the people that ultimately led to some of Hitler's atrocities in Germany. And she, she had to sever some of her ties when the war broke out because the eugenicist movement basically said, look, there's master race and then there's the rest of the people down here and that blacks, for example, were an inferior race and they were human weeds and we should do everything we can to keep them from reproducing. She was a brutal racist, just an absolutely brutal racist. But she also was a Malthusian, which means that she bought the lie that there's not enough food in the, on the planet for everyone and the way to just make sure that the planet survives is to kill off, literally, or, or stop the breeding of, literally the, their, their words, not mine, of the, the undesirables, as she would call them. So Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, was a whore, a eugenicist, a Malthusian, and she was an evangelist for her causes. She was just, just a brazen, brazen woman with, I mean, literally, um, she probably, you know what she was like? She was like the front end of the modern day pornography industry. I mean, literally that depraved, that wicked. In her second marriage, this is how crazy this woman was. Her second marriage, she married a millionaire, a man who owned an oil company. And before the, uh, the marriage, she had him agree that they would live in this huge mansion in completely separate wings, that she could entertain day or night anyone that she wanted that was involving her orgies and sexual liaisons, and that her husband had to phone her to set up an appointment to have dinner. I'm not making this up. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta wonder about his depravity to take a woman on like this. Maybe he wanted, I mean, I, I don't even wanna guess what the man wanted, but, Whatever it was, she finally got her ticket. She was married to a very wealthy man. She had her own living quarters inside of a huge mansion. She could come and go as she pleased, and she promoted her godless agenda. Now let's fast forward to today. Um, when I lived in upstate New York, near a little town called Ithaca, um, I f somebody stole, liberated, a copy of a... Uh, sex training manual for, for high schools in Ithaca, New York. And they had a game. This, is, this was the, the syllabus. And again, this is not a child-friendly segment, okay? I won't, I won't do or say anything that's going to scandalize adults, but you do not want your children hearing this, okay? But other people's children heard it. This is what they were teaching in Planned Parenthood. Putting on the condom. They had a banana relay race. Boys and girls, teenage boys and girls. <laughs> then they had a same-sex continuum, and they would have name tags, and they would, they would be taking the name tags and putting them on and off of each other. Physical attraction, thinking about having sex, talk about having sex, decide to use a condom, pool money or more foreplay, go to a condom store, pay the cashier, decide to have sex. Now, I, there's things I can't read here. I actually, I actually, things I can't read here, involving um, the, the privates, as we call them, as, as the old world would call them, private body parts. So this is stuff that is absolutely 100%, 100% graphic, as graphic as anything you would hear or see in the worst places. And this is what Planned Parenthood was using as a so-called sexual education, sex ed, for high school Students. She, she followed, they followed the example of the founder of Planned Parenthood. 
Margaret Sanger. And this is what our federal tax dollars are paying for. Harry Reid, you disgusting human being. I'll be right back.